G'day everyone, Ozzy Stig here. Today we'll be taking a trip to Marinello in Italy to test Evotech Engineering's awesome formula style motion simulators. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to visit the home of Ferrari and soak up some of the atmosphere of Marinello. My first driving session took place at the newly opened race centre which was only a stone's throw away from the Fiorano test circuit. Here I drove the 026 chassis designed and conceived by Evotech Engineering. As you can see, the cockpits are beautifully turned out with Ferrari badging and many other fine engineering details. Getting into the cockpit is just like you would enter its real world counterpart. Stepping in one foot at a time and resting my hands on the sides of the cockpit, then lowering myself into the one piece moulded seat. I noted here that the seating position felt a little too high for the type of cockpit I was in. The electrically adjustable pedals were adjusted to my leg length and the Formula One style wheel was snapped into place. The race centre uses a custom version of Assetto Corsa, specially developed by Kunos for these simulators. Here's a fun fact, Kunos actually developed their title in collaboration with Evotech. The attention to detail is just staggering mate, even down to the sound used for this custom title. A real life Ferrari F1 cars engine and the external sounds were recorded using multiple microphones positioned at strategic points around the car. Even the engine cylinder banks were recorded separately. The result is a one to one sound experience unlike any other sim I have tried. Once I was situated I took some time to get used to the seating position, the motion system and how the chassis behaved under braking. I took it easy and took the Ferrari out for a couple of exploratory laps of Imola before I committed to driving quickly. The reaction time of the motion system is not neck snappingly fast but it conveys the car's movements on screen quite well and with very little lag. After my 20 minute session my best time was a low 1 minute 28 and I was already looking forward to testing the newest model from Evotech, the 027 chassis. Once the session was complete, we headed over to the production facility, which was only a short drive away. There the new 027 Club Edition chassis stood patiently waiting for me to arrive. As soon as I saw the bright yellow 027 cockpit, my first thoughts were, this is definitely a step up from the previous gen 026 chassis. Everything about it has been refined and lightened for a quicker response time. Time to pull on my Sparco race gloves and shoes and hop straight in. Straight away the cockpit felt much more like a true formula car. The seat was lower and more reclined which gave me a perfect view across the nose and onto the circuit in front of me. The nose of the chassis seemed to almost meld into the screen. I didn't waste any time either trying to improve upon the previous session. Everything felt a lot sharper and I almost forgot that this was a motion rig. I was just so immersed in the experience that it felt completely natural being thrown about in the cockpit. After all that driving the end result was a 126.4 which I was pretty happy with. I was also informed that it was only less than two seconds off the best times posted by professional drivers at Evotech's Imola facility. I ended the session with a big smile on my face and feeling very fortunate to have had the opportunity to drive these awesome simulators. Well here we are at the end of the video guys, hope you had fun watching and listening to my experience with these mighty motion simulators in Marinello. A big thank you to everyone involved at Evotech Engineering, I am already looking forward to a return visit someday soon. Stay tuned for more to come from Aussie Stig.